Hello everybody, Aka Dave here again for another installment of Back to the Future the Game. Last time we found a shoe. Let's get to it. Uh Einstein. Let's what kind talk. of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Great talk, Einie. Um let's see. Um this time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Hmm, maybe I can use the shoe on uh, Einie? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Okay. Use item. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! He's onto something! Zero. Zero to hero. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How is this supposed to lead me to dock, Einie? Yeah, Einie. Liquor. I'm not old enough for liquor. Buzzer. E. Strickland. Step away from the door! Now, let me get a look at you. Bitch. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! I'm no hooligan. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town? Where every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. Oh! It's a fact. Look it up. Look it up? I don't have no time for that. Stay your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, who the hell's see, Merv? That's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Who are you? Strickland. You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of No, she's related to Buck Strickland, who sells propane and propane accessories. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes. Uh, <coughs> what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. <sighs> I got something you let for me you. In? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Mysterious shoe. Nah. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! <gasps> is it your shoe? Yes, exactly like that, Marty. <laughs> yes, Einie. Bark Leave till your heart's content. Creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. Look at all them boxes. Well, took you long enough. Um, it was like five stairs. seconds. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much Man, better. that was so perfect. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and tea. <laughs> but I'm sorry All old people have I candy. That's a rule. Again. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Hey, look it up, shit, lady. Uh. Have a seat, Sonny. 
Yes, Shuddy, you have a seat. Stereotypical old lady. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Man, she has nothing better to do with her day, does she? Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Jam? Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist, just like his father. His father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Huh. I'll talk to Edna. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! They're doing the nasty. Yes. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. She already oh, forgot that about it. that shoe! <laughs> Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But well, excuse me! Fine, me think about it. Princess. Uh, yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Was it I Oh, yes! The day that Speakeasy burned down. Speakeasy? <laughs> yeah, speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Say what? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. I beg to differ. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. An illegal wow, speakeasy. speakeasy? That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Quaked? So where was it? That speaking what does that, that mean? burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... I'm looking no, for bootleg I'm Turner, curious, thank you very much. So. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! I don't want to look yeah, at your Fanny. A generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. I like Strickland? history. A video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Hmm. So the video tapes. store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. <laughs> Following year, as I recall. What's all these What's newspapers? All these newspapers. This is my personal archive. I've got every Get with the issue times, lady. of the Hill Valley. We use Telegraph computers nowadays. Even though this Get is in the eighties. Every so. single issue. From Not a lot of people probably had big computers in the, the 80s, huh? If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Hell yeah! Actually, yeah I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. You don't well, say! You know that article came out? Well, obviously, the day after the speakeasy burned down. Uh, nice binoculars. Some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Lower things like the penis? Jim Cannon! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Tiff? Uh, I'm gonna go. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! How do you know that's a Kleenex? It could be just a normal tissue paper for all you know. Cat bowls? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Pretty Whiskers? Great name for your cat. Cat trophies? Door to street? Shoes? Miss Strickland lost that shoe the day the speakeasy burned down. But when was that? Door to the street. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But just but a minute I ago. To have to tell my brother, just, your just, vice but, principal in charge. But just a minute ago, you were calling me a fool again. How rude you were to me, <laughs> especially with graduation coming up and all. Lady, I don't think he really gives two shits. Kitchen door. Let's go in there. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the. Ew! It filled with a you. You illiterate. <laughs> she doesn't. Even, uh, it's like she that doesn't even care that he's vandalizing just the proper spelling. That tea's never gonna boil. Grammar Nazi in the making. Yeah. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat lovers quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. <laughs> Seems legit. Ra radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. Don't break it. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. But you never turned it on. Wait, don't touch anything? I'll touch all of the things. Hmm. Well... Before I touch these newspapers, I think it's about time I stop this video. We uh we always get a lot of a, comp a lot of stuff done with these videos, don't yeah, we? That's no, I gotta pr pause it. No, shit. This has been Arcadave signing off. Goodbye.